Hi guys, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to grow weed with Zero's Grow OP add-on. So instead of going to your F4 menu and going to entities, you cannot find anything there. It's with your tablet that you have. So with your tablet, you've got all of this. So what you need for sure is a generator. You will need the water tank because that will give water to your pots. And I'd suggest if you guys don't have a lot of money, like not at least like 500k or almost a million, I'd suggest doing another job before you do weed because we need some type of money to put into and a lot of time before you get real good money and good seeds out of it. So once you've got that, you have like two lamps. Don't get the sodium lamp because this one pr produces heat and then you will need uh, like uh, the is it I can't seem to find it like oh yeah then you need the fan to reduce the temperature so just use the lead lamp and put that lead lamp like up there and you have this cable click on your generator and then click on your lamp and then it's connected and you'll need to do the same thing with your pots in a second so what I like to do in my setup if I'm growing weed is take my drying station and put it like down on the floor like that and I buy five hydro flower pots because they can use the water from the water tank instead of like needing to pour it in so for this video I'll just buy five you can do it with ten you can change the setup but I'll just do it with five to make it like a, li a little bit easier uh, for myself because if you do it with 10 then you need to put in way more work but it's basically the the same but you then need to do it for like 10 pots instead of 5 Okay, so what you do then, if you've done that, you take your cable again, you left click on the water tank and left click on the pot and then you do that for every connection of the pot. So it connects all the pots so they all have water and you see this goes down and then you can refill your tank. What you need then is uh, you need of course fuel for your generator so it can run. Now I'm just going to test if my pots are in the correct position. Uh, you need to press the generator multiple times until it turns on. Then you turn on your light. And then you see the little sunshine icon that means that they are getting sunlight or like light from the, from the generator and from the lamp. So what I do then is buy my soil. So you need five. And then use your grab gun to put it into this. And for this tutorial, I'll be showing the OG Kush. These are difficulty one, so they're pretty easy to make. They're pretty, like, they're, they will go up fast because they're only 200 seconds to start with. So the time will go rapidly and I will show you what the max seed of a uh, OG Kush looks like. But if you want to, you can always try different seeds. But they will all be way harder because the harvest amount is way lower. So you need to play around with the fertilizer. And this is the next point. Like, you have different types of fertilizer. You have Hyper Viper that gives it 5% speed. This 15%, 5% productivity, so that means, like, more harvest weight. This gives 15%, and then you've got this. You've got Rapid r Rabbit Mix, like, 3% speed, 3% productivity, and 50% anti-plague. So that means that your plants won't be able to get sick. But I will be using the Get Swifty Mix. This one, 8% uh, speed gain, 8% harvest gain and they won't get sick at all. So, 
you don't need to fertilize all your pots. You just need to fertilize one if you're doing uh, with, with five pots, and if you're doing it with ten pots, you only need to fertilize two. Because you only need, like, two of those to get, um... To get your seeds in your seed lab in a second so all we start growing with these right now and when it starts growing this uh i will do the next thing you will need a seed lab and by the way don't pocket anything that you uh buy because if you pocket anything it might break uh everything you have and you might need to start over all again then what i buy next is the packing table and the auto packer instead of you needing to press E then it'll pack it for yourself what I like to do is I turn around this table I put it in the air like so and then I go to my tablet and you need the pallet and if you put the pallet underneath the packing table like so and then they will eventually drop. And you hear this, like, now I need to heal my, 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 uh, because they don't have to get swifty mix, you just need to press E on the, on the pot, or on the flower, uh, to get the bugs away from it. So, this is the setup that I like to use, because then, like, once, uh, your weed is dry, if you harvest it, then you put jars on here, and that will make a, a weed sack, and then it goes onto here, and you see, like, how much money it is. So I'll be showing you right now what the max uh, OG Kush seeds look like if you fully max them out. So ma max OG Kush is 80 seconds, 600 grams and 43% of THT value. So that means that they will grow for 80 seconds, the harvest amount is 600, that's the max. And the highest THT, is, that means that you will get the most amount of money from those seeds that you can get from it. So I'll be back now uh, when this plant is done and I'll be showing what you need to do then. Alright, so this plant is almost done. So when it's done, you will see it like kind of glow and uh, you will see that in a second. Uh, it will glow and uh, sh say like you can harvest this plant, you see? Just wait like a couple of seconds and it'll automatically go up like 10 grams. Then you harvest it and then this happens. They fall into your drying station like this because I have this set up. And then when the timer is full, you need to harvest those again. So you press E on those again like you did on the port. And then you will get like little jars. Those two jars you put in your seed lab. And then I'll be showing you what you can do with those in a second. So what I like to do when I have no, like, seeds running, is just turn off my generator. It saves fuel, and it doesn't go, like, broke as fast, because this generator can, like, it, it, it can break. You will hear sound from it, like, it will, will be, like, clanking, it will be really loud. And then you need to go and press E on your generator to fix it. So now, it, so now that won't happen in any time soon, so it's saving fuel and the light will turn off in a second. Okay, so now these are done, so you press E again to get it from your drying station. And then you see, if you put it in there, as we started, we're 200 seconds, it went down to 184 seconds. We started on 200 grams, went up to 280 grams, and we started on, I don't know how much, THC, 10%, we're at 16. So what you do then is splice it. So you press E on splice, and then you need to enter a name. What I like to do if I'm working for my weed, I just type how many seconds the weed is and then you press enter and then it starts splicing for you. So now these are done, so then you get these off as well. Once that is done, um, you can combine the, the pots so it like gets to... Uh, 200 grams faster so then what I do is you put them on there make sure that they're all 200 grams because then you'll get the most money out of it put it like so and then I'll be starting packing weed automatically for you 
and as it will fall down, we will see how much we make from that. That is 40k. OG Kush is like the least value uh, of weed right now because it was so strong, so it got nerfed. So like, if you use the max seeds, you will get to like 1 million per pallet. But now it's uh, like, because this is not max seeds, it won't be like that price. So now we got to wait until this is done and then you can start the process all over as you've seen and you always don't forget to refill your water tank because you need that uh, so these have another water because you need water and light to keep them good so these will be almost done Okay, then you see you get weeds, so you seeds I mean, then you see all the stats as you've seen like, like right there and then you can use it all over again and put it in your pots. Uh, like, and if you want to stop growing weed, you can do two things, you can either inventory pick it up and it's in your inventory, or you can put it in your seed bank like I do and then the next time you come it'll just be in here stored with all your other seeds that you have. So I hope this helped you uh, learning how to do weed. Have fun. See you guys next time.